You're with Johnny Vedmore on today's News Talk TNT. Hello, I'm here with Tim Bodner. We're talking about uh, religion, spirituality, uh, what's going to happen in the future. But something you said there um, evoked a massive response in the chat, that's for sure. Um, you were talking about people like these uh, iconic uh, icons of the modern time, people like Jordan B. Peterson, people like Russell Brand. Uh, a lot of people see them as, as deceivers see them as the great deceivers see them as the people who will will um uh you know sell themselves as religious so they can sell and they, th this is a time where uh, if we are coming up to end times we can expect to see that more i'm sure so one of the questions i was going to ask you seems to make a lot more sense under that context can you tell me why so many righteous people or seemingly righteous people today um, are not religious well you know that is an interesting distinction that your your chat makes and I think that to a certain degree, the answer is a bit multifaceted. One is the, the love of the men have, have grown, grown cold. The love of the church has grown cold. It is the church at Laodicea for all intents and purposes. Uh, it's, it's not engaged with the culture. The reason we're in the mess that we're in today is because pastors, weak pastors, cowardice pastors that did not engage the political world uh, and did not sink their teeth. I mean, if, if Christianity is not to be fleshed out and I cannot preach to a, a congregation to say, this is what you need to do with your faith in response to this issue or this issue about abortion or this issue about gay marriage or uh, whether we should be transing children. You know, I can address these things. We should be. We leave, we leave to Caesar what is Caesar's, but we render to God what is God's, Right. And we were created in God's image, and the government has no business telling us how we should be sexual, how we should be raising our children, or any of that mess. And so, again, you know, why are righteous people? I think there's awakening going on. And I think that while we, we do need to be careful of deceivers and false prophets, the people that I see coming about aren't necessarily leading. They're coming more in a way of humility and saying, I don't know all the answers. And perhaps there is something uh you know, outside of me. And Jordan Peterson has been approaching this Christianity thing. My God, I've never seen a more broken man regarding his sin in all my life. And he's just about this close to figuring it out. But yet his daughter is figuring it out and has figured it out and is further down the path. And I think we're all drawn, but I think we're being drawn, hopefully, to the same place. And But unfortunately, that isn't, you know, it's not like going up different sides of the mountain. We're all going to get to the same place. It's as long as the top of the mountain is Christ and Christ alone, then I agree. But nobody's getting to God through Islam. Nobody's getting to God through Judaism uh, or any of the other religions. Mormonism, it's not happening because those are all works-based religions. The work's been done for us, provided in Christ, and the ones that figure that out. And we all come to that at different speeds. And Jordan Peterson, for example, seems to be coming at it through an intellectual, philosophical level. And in some cases, even a biochemistry level. But, you know, there is truth that's outside of the Bible. But we just need to compare, at least I do, from a worldview standpoint of, does it agree with the teachings of Christ and the Bible? Yes or no. If it doesn't, that's my worldview, and that's the way I separate out, and that's the way I treat everything and filter everything. And that's what they mean yeah. by taking all things captive to Christ, all thoughts captive to Christ. I think that if we had a conversation about Jordan B. Peterson for the amount of work I've done on him, and I have watched his all of his Bible lectures three times, um, all mm. of his personality lectures, I know it inside and out, but I also know the man in many different ways. And that could that could lead on to a good 20 minute to 40 minute conversation for sure. Looking across in the chat game, there's so much. I mean, these sort of conversations, of course, they evoke a massive response. Um, uh, we Fat Shook says the creator didn't give us religion. He gave us a temple and an oasis to experience it. And there's a question for you from Dark Commission who who's asked prophecy points to predestination. And if predestination is true, then what's the point of judgment? Well, okay, uh, the, the answer to that, the quick answer in the just a few minutes that we have left is anybody that wants to uh, understand this argument needs to go to Romans chapter 9, because Paul addresses this straw man a long time ago, right? He says, listen, 
if God is the or orchestrator of all things, he's the quote-unquote puppet master, right? He's the one that raised Pharaoh and hardened his heart or did whatever he did. Then, then how can you still find fault, right? That makes perfect sense. If you're the one that orchestrates everything as God, how can you find fault? What does Paul say? Oh, yeah, he got me on that. No, he doesn't. He said, who are you, old man, to answer back to God? Will the thing that is made said to the maker, why did you make me this way? Listen, the mistake everybody makes is that we are created in the image of God. God is not a bigger us, okay? We're a corrupted image of God. And when we render judgment upon God, that's when we're all going to go to, you know, essentially anybody that renders judgment upon God and doesn't agree with God and judgment upon us, those are the people that are going to hell. And it's as simple as that. When we agree with God about our own condition, we flee to Christ and we say we need his sacrifice because we realize how unholy we are. There's God who is infinitely separate from us, infinitely so, and only infinite blood of an infinitely divine Jesus Christ, his son, God in the flesh, could have done that for us to bridge that gap. That's it. This is Johnny Vedmore on today's News Talk. TNT. TNT.